welcome to the Daily Winning Podcast. We're going to rebrand off Driving Dish. We're going to be a full gambling podcast with picks each and every day, plus our DFS daily fantasy plays of the day. So a little bit of a rebrand, but not really. We're still going to have our college basketball picks, but we're just going to bleed it into all sports so we can keep you up with coverage all year long and don't have to change shows every for every sport and every title. So the daily Winning Daily Podcast will be here for you for your daily winning picks. So I got a handful of picks today uh, in the uh, Aussie Open. Let's go with a two-team parlay. Dennis Kokaninas, plus seven and a half, minus 135 versus uh, Stefanos Tipsanovic. Tipsas, uh, reading Greek names, is not my specialty. A two-team parlay with Christopher O'Connell, minus 190. So we like Kakanagas, uh, plus 7.5, minus 135. He got his first win in a while. Uh, he'd been riddled with injuries. He was a young, up-and-coming Australian uh, Greek uh, prospect and uh, just got hurt a lot uh, from about 2016-17 on. Got his first win uh a couple days ago at the Aussie Open. I, I look for him to at least challenge here versus a, another uh, young Greek guy. So uh, that should be an interesting matchup. I think that seven and a half will be pretty good. And uh, just like Christopher O'Connell, I think he'll be able to handle uh, this matchup right here before he probably bounces out of the Aussie Open. But uh, that's a two-team parlay. We'll move into straight bets. Uh, Salvatore Caruso, plus three and a half, plus 105 versus Pablo Foggioni. Uh, just don't think the uh, old guys have really handled uh, this well pandemic wise. They haven't been able to train like they like. So I I'm going with the younger Italian here in Salvatore Caruso, plus three and a half, plus 105. And uh, Samantha Stoser, uh, plus five and a half, uh, minus 125 versus Jessica Pugia. Uh, really like Samantha Stoser here in Australia. Uh, I think she covers that five and a half pretty easy. Definitely a good one here. We'll move on to soccer and uh, tomorrow's FA Cup matchup. Uh, don't like any of the games, but I do like Timo Werner plus 160 to score in the match versus Barnsley uh, in the FA Cup. Uh, just think they'll want to get him a goal here. So I really think they'll try to force him uh, into a goal here in this matchup versus a pretty weak uh, Barnsley side. 